Be careful, Omar, if you don't want your prophet insulted, like your Quran says, warrant 6108. According to Muslims, the gospel that mentions Muhammad is John, the paraclete. So you heard my presentation, right? The, the gospel is? According to the Muslims, not me. The gospel that mentions Muhammad is the gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 16. Did you hear anything I said? Yeah, something along the lines of, uh, in the Quran, it says, God is the Father, or Jesus is the Son. Yeah, what I'm saying is, the gospel that mentions the unlettered prophet, 7157, according to the Muslims, like Ibn Ishaq, that's the gospel of John, the mention of the paraclete. So do you agree with that? Do I, I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying, I'm not saying I agree with it. Okay, then, all right, let's say you put it aside, then, okay. It says in 7157, the Quran, there's a prophecy of the Ummi prophet and the Torah and the gospel that's with them. What was the gospel at the time of your prophet that had this prophecy? Can I can I say one thing? And it's if you say I keep on topic, you can, but speak louder. Go ahead. Is that a determining factor of whether Islam is the truth or not? Yes, because the Quran says one of the proofs of your prophet is that he confirms the scriptures in the hands of the Jews and Christians. Yes, because yeah, if you yeah, contradict yeah, the prophet, I say, lot, I say that a lot. But does that mean they have to be preserved? Preserved. Preserve. Yes, because 7157 says the Torah and the gospel are there with this prophecy. Why are you changing the topic? It doesn't say they have to be preserved. Yes, it does. Because in 6115, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran it says. Want me to send you out of here? 6115 says there's no changing the words of Allah. Stop changing the topic. Where's the prophecy? Where's the prophecy? Am I, am I allowed to talk again? No, you're not allowed to lie and imitate your God, Khairul yeah. Makkah. You address the topic. The gospel and the Torah are preserved. They're not. Yes, according to 6115. Go look the black stone yeah. like the pagan you are. You see that? They can't answer. Where well, is it preserved? And I keep saying yes. 6115, it says there's no changing words of Allah. Even Muslims use that to prove that the Torah has never been corrupted. Good morning. Good afternoon. So, did you hear what the argument was? This is why I want to ask you is he mentioned there? Is he mentioned there in, the, in John 14? According to your Muslims, Scholars, yes, that's supposedly Muhammad. According to chapter 7, verse 157, it says, Those who follow the messenger of the Prophet can neither ne read nor write, whom they find written with them in the Torah and the Gospel. Then I go to your Muslim scholars and say, The prophecy of this Ummi Prophet is in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 16, where Jesus says, I will pray the Father, give you another comforter. So now can we get to the point? Do you agree? That one, 100%, I agree. That is the... Only what, 50% okay. you agree? Which 50, part of the 50%? you agree but, uh, yeah I, I wanted to ask you to say can you uh, stop asking me and tell me where the prophecy is no let me first find out something from you then i'll tell you no, that. can you find out where the prophecy is before we send you first class to mecca where's the prophecy the prophecy of who Nanesha, my goodness the prophecy of who prophecy of your grandmother yeah Muslim. don't insult man if you don't want us to insult you where in the bible is muhammad mentioned isaiah 42. you sure you want to go to isaiah 42 yeah. so first of all do you acknowledge that isaiah is the torah no, I but think. wait, the Quran says in 7157, he's found in the Torah and the gospel. Where does it say he's found in Isaiah? So do you want to now correct yourself? Do you agree the Torah includes Isaiah? No. Okay, let me try it again, friend. Let's have a decent what? conversation. The Quran says he's found in the Torah and the gospel, not in Isaiah. So either you're going to admit Isaiah is the Torah, or you're going to admit you know more than the Quran. Which is it? He dropped. Why? Because <laughs> he nailed them, bro. Okay, so now let's go to Isaiah 42. Can you show me where the servant is said to be from the tribe of Kedar? I know you're misreading it. Can you read that to me and show me where it says he's from Kedar? I don't say that. Because how do you know Isaiah 42 is about Muhammad, an Arab? Where does it say it's an Arab? According to you, Allah sent Muhammad in the name of Allah to then reveal what Allah wanted Muhammad to make known. Jesus said, Father and he, the Son, will send the paraclete, whom you say is Muhammad, in the name of the Son. And according to Jesus, that paraclete will only speak whatever he hears from the Father and the Son. John 16, 12 to 13. So the paraclete, whom says Muhammad, will only speak what he hears, meaning hear from the Father and the Son, right? So that means Muhammad only spoke what he heard Father and Son tell him. That means Father and Son is your God Allah, the God of Muhammad. Father and Son sent Muhammad to reveal what Father and Son wanted Muhammad to make known to you. So that means Allah of the Quran is the father and the son, and the God of your prophet is the father and the son, which means you corrupted the Quran. If Allah is the father and the son, that means when Muhammad died, they changed the Quran to deny that Allah is the father and Jesus is his son. So that means God logic is right. We believe in the original Quran, which is the Christian version. After Allah completed the create, creating the creation, the womb stood up and pulled 
at the lower garment of the most merciful. He said, stop that. You see it right here? Yeah. Okay. So why did you want me to show you? You thought I was making it up? It's right there. So my so, question to you. What you're reading, why what you're reading right now is. Okay. Why is your God wearing a garment? An izar? Was, is any other tafsir saying this or is only this one? You just cherry picked one tafsir saying it. <laughs> no, it's your prophet who cherry picked because this is your prophet from Bukhari. So is your prophet a liar? Yeah, but you're emphasizing how. Uh... It says izar, his garment. Right. So, so why is your God wearing a garment? Okay, is this the same for Hadith or or the the, 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 for the Blackstone? Go lick it, you pagan. He just got done the whole time talking about the Quran, the tafsir for the Quran over and over again. Are you Muslim? Alhamdulillah, yeah. Yeah, all ham to Allah. So can you answer my challenge? Explain Don't me. manifest, man, because I'll insult your God if you manifest. Can you answer what my challenge is? Can you explain your challenge? It's a bit confusing, kind of like a religion. No, it's not confusing. It was very clear if you were listening. I wasn't reciting Quran. Chapter 3, verse 55, 61, 14 says that Allah gave Jesus' followers power to conquer the unbelievers and he'd make them victorious till the day of resurrection and they would not be vanquished. So from the first century up until the seventh century before your prophet showed up, who are the followers of Jesus? What was their message? Because according to your Quran, they won and they would not be defeated. Name them for me. I booted them. So, uh, some, uh, some Shaman, what do you have for us today? 355. You want to read it or I want me to read it for you? Surah Tali Maran. Let me read it for you. Read it slowly and loudly so we can hear you. I was willing to shake down again. You said, Tell God, Oh, Jesus, I am terminating, I am terminating your life and raise you to me and, uh, and rid, rid you of the Disbelief, the believers, I will exalt those who follow you above those who disbelieve on the day of resurrection. And then, to me, is the ultimate destiny of all of you. Then I will judge among you regarding of the dispute of the dispute. Now, what did Allah say He'll do for the followers of Jesus in that ayah? In the ayah, Allah said He's going to uh, he's, he's going to. Uh, well, I said, I will exhaust those who follow you. Yeah. Exalt them, yep. Yeah? Okay, that's good. So, from the time Jesus is taken till when? Till when? So, they would be exalted, superior to them believers. Till when? How died. long? He died. He died, right? How long? I just thought he died. That's not what he's asking. And your brain died. Your brain died. Okay. How long would the followers of Jesus be exalted over the unbelievers? I, I, I can insult to you. you know that. No, don't worry. It's okay. Don't be don't be insulted because you're an insult because you're not answering the question. How long will the followers of Jesus be exalted? Till when? Okay, let's read the verse in contents, right? Can we read the verse in contents? I want to give you one more chance before I send you to Mecca. You I read it. Exalted till when? Read from all. So we see. Exalted till when? Let's bring the next guy up. According to your sources, Bukhari Muslim, the spirit came and squeezed Muhammad three times, tortured him, causing him to shake with fear and covered himself with a blanket. Can you show me any other prophet that had the same experience where they felt violated and were afraid like Muhammad was? Each prophet has his own his own type of revelation. Like example for the prophet. Okay, Yusuf. one more time. Can you show me when Wahi came upon a prophet, they thought they were... You don't you heard what my two challenges were or no? The first one is King Solomon. King Solomon. And I'll give you 10 million bucks to show me that Solomon manifested like your prophet. Brother, that's that's your answer. Solomon thought he was demon possessed like your prophet. For a long time. For a long time. And okay, then, go look at black stone for me, please. Bye bye. Okay, did you hear what my challenges were? Do I need to repeat them? No prophets ever uh, apostles met Gabriel. Muhammad met Gabriel in his Wanna bet? form. That's why he was scared. Luke 119. I'm going to show that you're a liar. Luke 119. Gabriel came to Zachariah. And then in Luke 1, 26 to 35, Gabriel came to Miriam. Even your Quran says in chapter 3, verse 42 and 45, the angels came to Miriam. Why are you lying? <laughs> According to your tradition, one of them was Gabriel. And Luke 119, Luke 1, 26, 35, Gabriel came to Zechariah and Mary and said, do not be afraid. So show me where a prophet they were not thought they were demon-possessed and they were trembling and hid under a blanket. Gabriel has to possess him to give him the knowledge of the Quran. Show me where the Quran says that a prophet manifested like your prophet. I like any prophets. Go lick the black snow. 